I thought I'd do a little video about basements. So let's say you're building a house and you're considering a basement in the house versus a monolithic slab that you would build on at ground level. So Zer Estate, it was built in, I think, seven, you know, 1854, 1856. That time period, then it was um, overhauled in about 74, 1874. So what I like about this basement is, first of all, I do like the stone. Sure, it could be cleaned up and look even better, but I uh, not really got time for that. And in air, so what they did here was, so you have the stone, and then when they hit ground level, they did brick. So what I like about this is, you're really about four feet into the ground. So it's not eight foot into the ground. And with that lens too, is you have, I have windows that I can open up. It rained a lot last night. It just rained and rained and rained. So I'm getting the fire going. I have a bunch of kindling wood that I can burn and other wood. So I'm getting it going right now. So I'm opening up the windows because I want to keep it dry in here. And the other reason I want to keep it dry is because I've been putting a lot of wood in. And the wood, I didn't season it outside. Now it was sitting for a year. So it's not totally green, long, green firewood. But I also have windows over here. So I um, pull them up, hook them on a nail. And then it turns out I had screens that fit right in there and I just put a little brick against it. And one for in here too where there's a lot of wood. So that way we get some airflow. The fire is going to give it a little bit of dryness. And works out nice. But if this was 8 foot in the ground or even 7 foot in the ground, that would not be doable. I would not have windows that I could open up easily. So I really like the four foot in the ground. You know, you can call it a half basement. But um, that's my little two cents on basements. And then the other advantage of that is if you're four foot in the ground and let's say you have a little land slope like we do here, we walk out here. Now we're at an area where we can walk right out. A couple steps up, we're up to the upper yard, a few steps down, we're in the lower yard. So planning your house, how deep you want your basement, how the access is going to be, all very, very important items. And I'm just giving you my little take on how Zero State was planned and how it was executed. Not how it was executed, but the results of that. I really like how it is. It, it just, it's so convenient. And then when we add our little roof here, we're going to have a little bit more protection for this door. So those are things. You're planning a new house. Basement. Do you have a basement? And if you do, how deep a basement? It's not just a yes or no. There's a midway. There's... There's the contour of your land and everything. Okay. That's the basements. Here's the carriage house.